¿Qué tal amigos? Bienvenidos al Trek Boss Show. For today we have Breaker 19 Gift Box, Texas Wears Traffic, Kentucky Barbecue Joint, Payroll Protection Plan Tax Impact, Sean Gibson's Shell Trek, and our favorite duo, Matt and Joey. If you're looking for a gift for that special trucker in your life, you gotta check this out. Breaker 1-9, a box you can get in the mail every month. It comes with pretty cool items, deals. Their boxes have all these cool tools and some of the things you can even use to work out while you're on the road. Now they give the drivers the freedom to choose certain products or services that can be very useful. And they work closely with drivers and understand the struggles. They also offer a convoy community where you can reach out to other drivers and find helpful resources while you're out on the road. Breaker 19 has made it their mission to help drivers with resourceful things and also to stay healthy when you're away from home. But make sure you stay tuned because you might catch Breaker 19 on the Truck Boss Show soon. Now we go to Carlin on that Texas traffic. Alrighty, Stella, we live in Oklahoma, so we've been to Texas. Honestly, probably all of our viewers have too. And they know it's freaking huge, like bigger than some countries huge. And that being said, that means there's a lot of people on the road and as such, a lot of places for congestion. The Texas A&M Transportation Institute released their annual report for the most gridlocked roadways in the state. And the Austin I-35 stretch from US 290 to Texas 71 took the top spot, costing more than 98,000 hours for drivers at a cost of $45 million. Yikes, right? Overall, Texas drivers were delayed for more than 26 million hours and wasted 44 million gallons of fuel, costing them one and a half billion dollars. So much time, so much money, gone, poof. Well, if you wanna check out the full report, follow the link in the comments below. Alrighty, Sela, let's talk your favorite subject, food. Since the pandemic began, we quickly learned that many drivers were struggling to get a warm meal out while they were out on the road. We had some people that would post up on highway exits or truck stops to provide a meal for drivers. Some restaurants even went above and beyond to do the same along with law enforcement. But with COVID-19 on the rise again, many states have started to shut down, which means what struggles drivers had in the beginning will happen again. Well, this particular restaurant in Kentucky, the Hog Wild Pig Crazy Barbecue, they said they're not shutting down. The owner is keeping her dining room open because she believes that truckers need a place to sit down and have a warm meal. Also stating that they will continue to keep their patron safety in mind. Now they're located off of Highway 71 next to the Loves. They've already been served with the notice to seize operations and Kentucky law enforcement will not get involved unless it becomes either the district's court or court judges. It's obvious that this restaurant owner is looking out for our truckers. Carlin? Well, everyone, COVID has definitely left its mark on the U.S. It's changed how we work, interact with other people, and how we spend our free time. It has also impacted the economy, and while there was some help from the federal government, you and Rops could be on the hook come tax time in 2021. Our friends over at Overdrive have a breakdown of COVID-related tax items. Now, they had several different items on the list, but we don't have time to cover them all in one show, so we're going to break them down over the next couple of weeks. This week, we're talking PPP and borrowing from those retirement funds. First, the Paycheck Protection Program, also known as PPP. While it was designated as tax-free by Congress, the IRS says if the tax-free money was used to purchase something that is normally deductible, then the expense is now non-deductible and could result in higher tax income. There are a few bills in the Senate and House that could change that ruling, so keep your eyes and ears open. Otherwise, just make sure you're keeping those records in tip-top shape so you can show exactly what you use those PPP loans and grants for. Second, borrowing from those retirement funds. Now this can be useful if you need some liquidation, but it can also set you back on retirement so it's kind of a last line of defense. But through the last day of this year, people can borrow up to $100,000 from certain retirement accounts like 401ks or individual retirement accounts without paying those early withdrawal penalties. It, it does become taxable with this year's taxes, but it can be spread over the next three years. You don't have to pay it back, but if you do, it can be treated as non-taxable. You just have to file amended returns that show where it was taxed and bam, it will be refunded. Again, these are only two of the six different items Overdrive pointed out. Tune in next week as we cover two more. Hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss it. Now, let's shift some gears and talk about trucks, shall we? This week, we're highlighting, highlighting an Oki from my hometown of Broken Bone, no less, with not one, not two, but four show trucks in all. 
Let's roll right in and check one out. What's up everyone, Carlin here with the Truck Boss Show. We are in Tonkawa, Oklahoma. You know, right now it's kind of the truck stop capital of the world because they are hosting the Busted Knuckle Truck Show this weekend. It's just a fun time for everyone to get together. It's not really a competition. It's more about coming out and enjoying some of these old trucks. And right now we are joined by Sean Gibson. We're actually from the same hometown, Broken Bow, Oklahoma. And uh, Sean, you've got a couple of awesome trucks here. Well, let's just jump right into it. We'll start out right here. This is number 51 classic. Um, I actually purchased this truck here at uh, Wilkins from Brett and his guys. And this truck right here, I originally got it. It was a day cab that somebody had converted over the years. And so I went back, you know, I would never want to mess up a, a numbered truck because this is actually a classic. But being that it had already been messed with, we went ahead and put a 36 inch bunk on it, get the ride and unibelt the truck. Still got the old school look to it. Carried it to over to BBS and had the frame off restoration on the sleeper. You know, we done it all and, and big hold it. And then plus two, we carried it to Barentines over there in Bogota, Texas, and had him at Trucking Awesome to do the interior. And then we brought it back to my shop, and then we redone it all. If you want to, I'll show you inside the truck, and you see that we tried to keep it original. We kept it as original as we could, you know, on the inside. Scale from one to 10, I'd call it eight or a nine. You know, it's not 100% perfect, but it is close. Color on the truck, it's a Ford Blue. It is actually born with a four and a quarter with a 15 over, and that's the way it still is to, to today, you know. I'll show you underneath the hood of this truck. It's as it's, it's nice under the hood as it is out here. We took the motor, we set it out of the frame, we redone it, resealed the engine. We put all new lines and all, all on it, you know, and the engine supposedly had been rebuilt some time back from what we know about it. Everything turned out very nice on the truck, you know, my opinion on it. Yeah, it, it is a beautiful truck. And you said it's your wife's actually? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> my wife, when I bought the purse and brought it home, she, she her favorite color is blue. and. Once she's seen it, she said she liked it, so it kind of gave me another avenue to have another truck, so I let her have it. There you go. <laughs> now that was only one of Sean's show trucks. He's got three more we'll be showing off, so hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss it. Now Isela, what else you got? And now it's time to head over to our favorite duo, Matt and Joey. Hey, where have you been? I've been waiting here for like two hours for you. Bro, don't even ask. You don't even want to know. Oh no, I, I want to know. I, I want to know. Bro, I've been sitting in traffic on a parkway for like three hours, all right? Freaking backed up for miles. Freaking people having to slow down so they can look and see what's going on. Yeah, well, why didn't you call me and say something? Traffic. You could have been like, hey, I'm stuck in traffic. Ah, uh, bro, forget about it. I didn't even, I, I was so aggravated. People cutting you off. It says the right lane is closed up ahead, and yet everybody is cruising up the right lane, waiting to the last minute to get over, and then they cut you off, they won't let you in, and they just want to weasel in. It's unbelievable. Yeah, uh, I, I know, I know, but I mean, I mean, I'm, I know, I know, it's, it sucks, dude, it sucks, but, you know, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I tell you what I'd like to do. When they're coming up and trying to cut you off at the last minute, I'd like to just, I, I tell you, oh, let me tell you what I'd like to do. I would, I would love to just take the truck and just, oh, 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 oh just slow it down there, speed racer. Just, just, just stifle thyself. Just take a deep breath, go in and out. Just do it. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Ah. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Don't worry. It's better now. It's better. Let's just get the hell out of here, you know, before more freaking traffic comes or something. All right. All right. Come on. We'll get you get your coffee or something. You know, maybe a donut. I don't know. You need to stay calm. All right. Ooh, well, don't donut sounds good right now. Let's do that. Come on. Well, those guys, you know, Carlin, they always have something to say. <laughs> they do. They do. You know, they wouldn't be Matt and Joey if they weren't, you know, telling us something, spilling the tea, if you will. That's right. And well, you know, we're always on the go trying to get something new and always get bringing some good information to our people. This pandemic's not holding us back. I'll tell you that right now. Um, right. We, we haven't slowed down at all, just like our viewers, you know. That's right. So for next week, we're going to be having our maintenance minutes. Yes, we have our maintenance minutes. We're talking with Trucker G. I believe that one's a, I believe you're the one who sat That's down. That's my with buddy. Them. Yes. Trucker yeah. G. I love them. They're and good they, people. They are good people. And then Brad is actually going to be taking us on part one 
of his uh, broker transparency. He's He's been a busy guy as well. He's been doing a lot of investigative stories, and this one is going to be extremely detailed where we actually had to split it up into three parts. So this is just going to be part one of that broker transparency. So you'll definitely want to tune in next week, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss it. Yes, because that's going to be some really good information. He does bring some information that is very important to the industry. So we want to make sure that we're keeping everybody informed and updated and all that good stuff. Now, that's right. And tomorrow, because we, we got to tell you guys about what's happening tomorrow. I actually sat down with our one of our favorite dynamic duo, Matt, to learn about his experience with Amazon. You know, he was a driver for them for a little bit. He was contracted out. And he, as he said, it's some of the easiest money you can make on the road. So you're going to have to tune in tomorrow to see exactly what makes it so easy. Well, I hope he doesn't convince us to go work for Amazon. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki and Jeannie, okay, don't get us for that one. <laughs> no, but of course, so for any of you that is watching or that follows the Trek Boss shows, if you know someone that's like interested, you already know what you got to tell them. Say, listen, all you got to do is go to their Facebook page, subscribe. <laughs> Because we got awesome giveaways, we got awesome news, and we're just like so cool. That's why. That's right. That's right. And speaking of giveaways, though, Isela, we, we almost forgot to mention that our December giveaway is live now. So all you guys got to do is check out that video. It's pinned at the top of our Facebook page and watch it fully so you know exactly what to do and what you can win. So be sure to check that out. Well, it is an awesome hood ornament, if I could say that correctly. It's really cool. But those are awesome to have. I know that's a big thing, especially when, you know, everybody's out at shows and stuff. Obviously, you know, right now with everything going. But that's okay. I mean, they can take pictures and post it. That's right. That's right. They're getting their rides ready for next year, right? We're going to go to all the shows. They're going to be at all the shows. So you might as well prepare yourselves. For yeah, you got to get ready. Get your truck looking good. That's so. right. So and it's very easy, guys. Remember, all you have to do is just... Like subscribe, follow to follow our page, uh, like, comment, share, let everybody know. Hey, the Trick Boss Show—they're there to hook you up, but they got awesome content. And not only that, there's so many things that you know we love doing. Obviously, we can't go to truck shows right now, but that doesn't stop us. That's and right. we got a lot more coming. There's just so much it's more coming here on the Trick Boss Show. It's going to be a busy year. We're going to have a lot more stuff heading your guys' way. So you guys, you're going to want to tell your friends that you you watched the Truck Boss Show before it was cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, they're going to get to tell everybody that. And for the ones that know us, you know, personally are going to get to say, you know, let everyone know, hey, I remember when they just started with the small little phone and this wire that they had to use. Well, I mean, you wasn't, what is it at the time, Carla? But I mean, we had to like, you know, unravel this wire in the mics and stuff. Good times. But we got more coming here on the Trick Boss Show. And there's only one reason why we do this, Carlin. That's right. Because you're the boss.